हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल बायू यूनिवर्स आई एम सुयंका इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैड स्टार्टेड न्यूट्रिशन टूडे वी विल कंटिन्यू दिस चैप्टर डू यू नो हाउ ऑर्गेनिजम ऑप्टेन न्यूट्रिशन डिफरेंट ऑर्गेनिजम ऑप्टेन फूड इन डिफरेंट वेज अमीबा टेक्स इन और कॉम्प्लेक्स ऑर्गेनिक मैटर एज फूड अमीबा फर्स्ट आइडेंटिफाइज इट्स फूड and then throws out a number of small pseudopodia these pseudopodia include the food particle and prevent it from escaping the food enclosed in the cell membrane forms a food vacuole the complex food is broken down into a simpler molecules with the help of digestive enzymes of the organ which called lysosome The digested food is distributed in the cytoplasm and the undigested food is ingested through the cell membrane. In paramecium, a unicellular organism with a specific sieve, food is ingested through a special opening called the cytostome. Food is brought to this opening called cytostome by the lysing movement of cilia that cover the entire surface of the cell. Now let's discuss about human digestive system. The alimentary canal and the glands associated with digestion constitute the human digestive system. The alimentary canal in human beings measures about 8 to 10 meters in length. It extends from the mouth to the anus. The mouth consists of the oral cavity through which food is ingested. It is bonded by lips and cheeks. Mouth contains gums teeth tongue and muscles teeth help in beating cutting and chewing food teeth masticate the food the tongue tastes food and moves it into the pharynx mouth has saliva which lubricates the mouth and food saliva also has salivary amylase a digestive enzyme that breaks down starch and glycogen to maltose then the masticated food is t- moves towards oesophagus through pharynx oesophagus is a muscular tubular part of the alimentary canal which carries the food down to the stomach through peristalsis movement stomach is a muscular structure located below the diaphragm which serves as a storehouse of food where partial digestion takes place The inner lining of the stomach has gastric glands which release hydrochloric acid, pepsin and mucus. Hydrochloric acid in gastric juice converts pepsinogen to active pepsin and also kills bacteria ingested with food. The mucus protects the stomach lining and glands from being digested by gastric juice. About 3 liter of gastric juice is produced per day. Pepsin breaks down the proteins into peptones. Gastric lipids partially breaks down lipids. Digested food present in stomach is called chyme which moves to small intestine. Small intestine is about 6 meter in length and 2.5 cm in thickness. There are three divisions of the small intestine duodenum jejunum and ileum duodenum is the first part which begins from the pyloric stomach and is C shaped in the middle of duodenum two different ducts open through a common aperture one of the ducts is common bile duct and other is pancreatic duct liver is the largest gland of the body it secretes bile which helps in digestion bile juice produced by the liver is stored in the gall bladder bile is a yellowish green alkaline juice is poured into the duodenum through the common bile duct from gall bladder there are two main functions of bile it emulsifies fats the acidic food called chyme coming from the stomach becomes alkaline and called chyle when it is mixed with bile pancreas is secretes pancreatic juice which is carried by a pancreatic duct into the duodenum pancreatic juice contains a number of digestive enzymes such as amylase for the splitting of polysaccharides lipase for the breakdown of fats and trypsin and chymotrypsin for the breakdown of proteins 
Jejunum is the middle part of the small intestine and ileum is the last main part of the small intestine. The complete digestion of the remaining food materials takes place in the ileum. There are numerous small glands in the walls of the small intestine. These glands secrete intestinal juice. The digestive enzymes in the intestinal juice break small peptides into amino acids, disaccharides into monosaccharides, lipids into fatty acids and glycerol, and nucleic, nucleic acid into nucleotides. Absorption of completely digested food takes place in the ileum. The wall of the ileum has a finger-like projection called villi that increase the surface area for the absorption of food digested food. The villi are richly supplied with blood vessels to carry the absorbed food. The absorbed food is then brought into the blood capillaries. From the blood capillaries, absorbed materials are transported by veins to the liver and then to the heart for distribution to different parts of the body. Assimilation is the process of intake of digested food by cells. These digested food used to obtain energy through the process of respiration. The ileum passes undigested food mass into large intestine. The large intestine can be divided into two parts, anterior colon and posterior rectum. At the junction of ileum and colon, there is a blind outgrowth called cecum. The cecum ends in the vermiform appendix, which is a vestigial organ. The colon has an ascending part, a transverse part, and a descending part. The last part or the descending part opens into a rectum. The terminal part of the rectum is called anal canal. It opens through the anus, guarded by the sphincter muscles. The large intestine allows the passage and res of residual food mass that is fecal mite matter which is adjusted through the anus that's all for today thank you for watching